Take three. Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between. Welcome back to the Shot Cross Channel. Okay. Currently, it is 5.39 a.m. on the 19th of March. New PC, people. New PC, new video quality, as you can see, which should be really nice unless basically the YouTube system doesn't allow us to upload in 4K. That would kind of suck, but I've watched plenty of videos recently in the 4K quality. Only issue is... We are not. We were not able to figure out how to uh, turn on, how to activate our secondary monitor. So, <laughs> ultimately, there is a chance that um, there are some technical difficulties with this video. Um, and with that in mind, this will definitely be an experimental thing, right? So, um, this morning, and so far, up to the nineteenth of March. I mean, there are a great many bands in the community that have announced albums they will be releasing throughout the year. We have Boundaries. We have Dealer. We have Like Moths to Flames. We have Manatune, who just released an EP, their, their newest EP this morning, actually. Um, so I definitely need to be listening to that at some point. Um, I mean, we have plenty of bands to catch up with get familiar with because of the upcoming condom condom common enemies tour um between spite and body snatcher um more or less we we did our homework right we did our homework we got caught up with oklahoma ass beaters cell um featuring them for both a front to back session with them in the call for their new ep the unbearable form tough for short we did an anatomy podcast session with them. That was actually one of the first times that me and Finn the Orc King ended up being in the same call with another band. So that was really fun. Um, so we've done our homework with them. But speaking for the bands on the Common Enemies tour, other than, of course, Spite, Body Snatcher, and Cell, we still have really yet to do our homework for Throne, Gnosis, and Psycho Frame. So I do believe that in this video we will be checking out psycho frame so starting off if you would be so kind as to considering subscribing to the cross core patreon three dollars a month to support to support what will be five different channels then after that we do have all of our playlists over on spotify including asahi and nomichi path of the rising sun with our newest addition being rightfully which is the first intro for Goblin Slayers. So yes, that is currently a show I'm working on. Really, really good show. Um, and Millie is just an iconic artist. Um, I love the more silent style that they encompass for the show. Um, I love that they brought Millie back for the second season opening. And I also appreciate for, like, didn't think of it at all. Like, I, I never thought that it would be such a um, prominent idea, but like, all of the intro is basically done in English as opposed to Japanese. So I thought that that was really interesting. And that we have chapter 23, Written in Dreams, which is a playlist consisting of 11 albums, 7 EPs, and 7 standalone singles. We have the Tennessee Local Bangers playlist. We have Cross Country, which is definitely new territory for me, musically speaking, as this is meant to encompass all of the country I listen to. And then we have Ignite the Church, which is for all things I feel are relevant to the genre of black and deathcore and death metal. Last but not least, we have my Depop shop, which is always more consistently just not updated. And then on top of that, I ended up actually refunding these two. So I'm not sure why these are marked as sold. They're not sold. Um, and they have been since removed from this shop because they have been given to someone else um so i'll do apologies to those that did order these items and never received them 
um, I have since refunded you though. So you have been reimbursed for the items that you wanted to purchase. Thank you for your time so far and let's get into some psycho frame. <laughs> So that was um, Psycho Frame. That was a brief introduction to Psycho Frame and their discography, starting out with the single Dragging Nazarene off of, I do believe, what was it? The Remote God Seeker EP that was released May 7th of 2023. This is a band located in Florida, Georgia, and Missouri. So that's pretty sick. Lineup consisting of Hunter Young, Mike Sugars, Jonathan Whittle, Jonathan Naki, Aiden Bassent, and Jordan Crane. Um, this definitely reminds me musically of bands like Demon Fuck, Scum Fuck, Darko, um, let's see, Nine Dead. Like, there are so many bands. So, like, it's absolutely no surprise to me that they got a spot on the common, the common, and I almost said it again. The Common Enemies Tour, alongside other acts like Body Snatchers, Spike, Cell, Throne, and Gnosis. Like, 
solid freaking lineup, and I'm so glad that I ended up getting the VIP. Um, shout out to the boys in Psycho Frame. They haven't exactly reached out to me yet, but, you know, shout out to them for the great music that they're making. And, I mean, for example, their logo, too. Their logo is so cool. I haven't really seen a logo like theirs that is circular. Um, super, super cool. And I definitely want to look into inquiring with them upon um, doing a live podcast for the Phoenix date when they come through town with Spike, Body Snatcher, Cell, Throne, and Gnosis. I want to see if we can go ahead and interview them in person, um, tell their story after their set, and see what we can kind of learn about them in person, kind of get to know them in person as well. I think that'd be really fun. But this has been Sean Cross of the Sean Cross YouTube channel. And just like the great eternal music machine, let's keep cranking. Thank <laughs> you.